The AI boom is putting a big strain on the U.S. power grid, and the White House is tapping America's biggest AI players to discuss how to move forward. Meeting today with leaders from OpenAI, Anthropic, Google, Microsoft, and even NVIDIA's Jensen Wong. Let's bring in Deirdre Bosa with more details in Tech Check. Deirdre? Hey, Kelly. So we know the government moves slow and AI is moving faster than anyone anticipated. So big tech has already done a bunch of deals in the energy space while also racing to build more efficient chips. Now, Oracle making progress on a data center that will require over a gigawatt of electricity or enough to power roughly 750,000 homes. Amazon earlier this year paid $650 million for a nuclear powered data center in Pennsylvania. Microsoft has earmarked $10 billion to develop renewable energy capacity to help, again, power data centers. Alphabet and Meta, they're looking to solar farms. So big tech is essentially scouring the country for electricity supply. And the White House has certainly taken note. Our Megan Casella stopped NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang outside the meeting today. He acknowledged the huge amounts of energy that is needed to continue to develop AI. But he also talked about the solutions that AI could help pioneer. Have a listen. Although artificial intelligence uh, consumes a lot of energy to train, it also saves a lot of energy when you consume it. Uh, because ultimately, it's not about training the model, it's about using the model. And uh, whether it's in healthcare or uh, climate, uh, climate technology or uh, just running the power grid, artificial intelligence has the opportunity to really save a ton of, ton of energy. And so, so I think people are, are uh, grappling with uh, the, the scale of, of the opportunity ahead and, of, of course, the scale of the challenges ahead. And so it's going to require public and private uh, collaboration. So here he's referring to this idea that the AI models are, are going to become so advanced that they're going to actually provide solutions. They're going to make energy the way that we develop it, the way that we use it, generate it more efficient in the future. He also mentioned that public-private collaboration, that is certainly going to be tricky. Tech giants are pushing forward with energy deals and new data centers. That is straining the national power grid. And it's complicating their own emissions goals, which could in turn complicate the administration's transition to clean energy. Certainly a positive development that they're going to be working together, at least having these conversations, but the hard work is going to be ahead. It shows how top level the concern is. Deirdre, thanks. We appreciate it. Thanks.